to a show from a slice of life to a show on the road from up so high now we've gone so low i learned to take things slow and from that i found my flow i think it's time i grow and find my place in this show I think I'm all ready to go ahead and start, guys. So, how's it going? Um, so obviously you saw uh, by thumbnail that I do have some of the uh, McDonald's Pokemon packs. And before I start trying anything, I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, one of them right now, just at start, because I think that's just how it's going to be. So I'm going to go full cam for it. Um, so I like these packs, though. Like... They're just so simple and good. What's up, Jonah? How you doing? I'm streaming a little earlier than I usually do, uh, so like, this is not a normal time for me to stream, but like, I had the chance, so I went ahead and did it. I haven't really like looked too much at these packs, so I kind of want to like check them out a little bit. Look at the stickers. Pretty cool. I might use those. And this little like beach booklet. All right. So I don't really have like a better way to uh oh thanks Matt. I don't really have a better way to like show off these packs. These packs are weird, man. They're like really papery, they aren't like foil. Alright. So I think I'm gonna show them kind of like uh away from me. So I'm gonna try to refocus it here. There we go. Alright, so we got a Fennekin. It looks pretty good. Got a Charmander. Really good artworks. And I got a Chisp in here. I think there's only three cards in each pack, right? Oh, there's four. Okay, I got a Mudkip. Okay, okay. I'm down with these. These are like really fun looking cards. All right. That's what I'm going to open for right now. Um, refocus it. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to back into the layout here. And I'm going to go ahead and let the shiny hunting start. Oop, wait, hold on. There we go. Loud vibrate. Uh, 
So I'll open another one here in a little bit, but I'm not gonna open them all like right at the start because that's no fun and you never know what you're looking for then. I will say though, um, some fries like can get in these packs, uh, like pack sleeve things like really easily. So your packs are very likely to be like greasy with fries, which is kind of gross, but you know, I, I think they're doing fun stuff with it. Well, now I'm just gonna chill out and uh, let this just kinda play out here. Not too much else for me to really do. I'm just gonna kinda enjoy myself and lay back and let the shiny hunting happen. Enjoy like the new camera feel I got going. Like, I, I mean, it's just, it's just laid back feels right now, honestly. Not too much else I want to do. I just want to relax and just enjoy myself. Let the shiny hunting just go. I'm testing out the angles of glare on my glasses right now off my screen because like that's the only spot I'm getting glare. Mm, I got a little bit for my lights but mainly it comes from my screen. That's a tough angle to hit for me not to get that glare. So right now I'll just accept it. I'm curious how many encounters it's actually going to take me to get this shiny, though. And unfortunately, like, I actually think um, these static shines are probably, like, the least fun to actually get because you can't improve your odds at all. So you're just sitting here going same odds and just hoping for a different outcome. What's up, Intrepid Grun Ninja? I've seen you in here a few times. How are you doing today? I'm just hitting that big relaxing mode and I just want to do the chair spins right now. Cause I get restless. Restless. I think I nailed that. How's everyone doing though? Are we having a good day? Where I'm at, it's like real snowy, like eight inches of snow. So like, it's just been a chill and relaxed day. There's like no reason to really try to get out. Doing good, can't believe we are already in leaf. Oh my gosh, same though, man. It does not feel like we should already be in February. It still feels like mid-January, maybe even the beginning of January. The year's going fast. And I don't really know if that's a good or bad thing right now. Like, it's really crazy. Uh, I really want to get the shiny before a thousand, but I doubt it's actually going to happen. There's just no actual way to speed this up and it kills me, man. But I want, I want to just be able to like ram through this, like this one though, where you got to really wait for it. You got, you got to wait for that good taste in it. And I want to 
want to slow down because I don't want vaccine. I mean, if anything, you might want to speed up for uh, the vaccine because that means it'll be more road tested. Because right now they're not not the best. It it's a little bit spotty. Just because um, they haven't had time to really test like long term effects or anything, they're just um, kind of going off based what they roughly know, and kind of using uh, that is, I guess um, it's kind of like using people as guinea pigs a little bit, which isn't that different than what we do most of the time, but still, I would say it's definitely safer to wait a little while. Um, so I guess if it speeds up, then it might be a little bit safer. That's the way I view it, at least. Because I'm not a person who's rushing to get the vaccine right now. <clears throat> well, I mean, I've also already had, um, I've also already had the virus, so I'm even less worried about getting it again. So, I mean, that's... Oh, I can really say about that, like, I'm definitely less worried than probably most. If you've already gone through it, then there's not a lot worse things that can happen. It's still cold in here. Like, it's pretty cold outside, but like... Oh, bro, it's so bright out there. Oh, man, guys, I enjoy the dark more. I like being in dungeon, in the dungeon. Why well, have blackout curtains, man? I decide how long I want to wait to open the next pack. Maybe at 30 minutes I'll open the next one. But I only have three to open. I've already opened one, so. <clears throat> trying to save them a little bit. Great for your granddad because he had it and got COVID next week after he had the vaccine and currently a test positive. So once I recover, I should be fine. Yo, Stone Family. I really hope one day you're able to stay in stream one day, Stone Family. But I get it. You can only pop in for a little bit most of the time. Um, Redinja, yeah, I, I feel that. Um, it, it, it's, it's pretty high risk, especially for... Uh, the elderly to even get a vaccine because it already like really targets down um, that group anyways and then it's easier for them to pass it on to others too so yeah I definitely get what you're saying and I'm trying to remember how um, long each encounter actually takes uh, I'm pretty sure if you're like really good and fast about it, it can take like 11 seconds, but I'm not fast. I'm not surprised many people. Yeah, I know you do. And I do appreciate you even popping in for a little while. I just hope one day that you are able to actually stay though. But currently, I'm just going to be going for a little while because I just kind of want to do a podcasty type stream right now. Family actually has gotten COVID to my granddad, which was only for this month, so not too bad. Yeah, you're actually doing pretty good. Um, I'm actually pretty sure I got it from um, my mom over um, Thanksgiving uh, because she had an interaction at work that she found out later was COVID. Um, and she actually gave it to uh, me, my brother, and my girlfriend. So, 
we all just dealt with that all at the same time. But I don't know if that's better or worse to deal with it together or not. I don't know. I guess you have shared pain, which builds, um, it builds relationships, I guess. Um, so I'm feeling, yes, I do appreciate you very much. watching a dumb thing am i gonna find it today um statistics say no but i am hopeful that i will well since i'm here uh what do you talk about i want to talk about snow honestly because that's the main thing i'm thinking about um just because i have eight inches sitting outside right now and it's making it hard for me to go to work i don't want to go to work but it's still like it's annoying because i can't really go much of anywhere like safely I don't like snow. If it could be warm and still snow, then I think I'd be happy. But it's the cold that accompanies snow that really adds to it, as well as you have ice. I just, I see like just no benefits to snow and I, mm, I don't like it, don't like it. Oh man, thanks Nightbot. <clears throat> I'm not young anymore, man. Can't stand to know my wife and three kids love it. Nope, can't stand it. Not a kid anymore, you know. I, I I don't I don't go out throw snowballs and build forts and make snow angels. I'm I'm the one who's just trudging through it, trying to drive and not slip and have my car flip or something. Like I just I want I just want a safe drive all the time. Like I'm very likely to just move to a warm climate where snow is limited to none and just be happy and i'll take the humidity in the summers just because i i just can't deal with snow man <sighs> no. i am young but i i still don't like it, it you reach the age really fast um i think it's like right around getting out of high school where it's no longer good or helpful to have snow snow only makes your life harder once you're out of there like even in college like they're not canceling most classes uh whenever it snows you're just trudging through it or driving through it and then you get an actual job they're not canceling your job just because there's some snow yeah it's man they glorify snow so much when you're young, man. It's like snow, but I don't like it anymore. Yeah, exactly. You just glorified snow whenever you were young, man. And as soon as you get to like 19 to 20, you're just done with it. Although um, people from other climates still have like this fairy tale image of it. So like people who live in like Australia who don't really get snow is I think they have like kind of like a fairy tale idea of it where it's like oh man I better be really cool to see some snow like no no it's not it's fine I think if you're on vacation or something but other than that no if I plan to go to a ski mountain then sure that's fine but I'm not about it whenever I need to worry about you know, going to get groceries or something. Not about it. I can complain about snow for a long time, man. Damn. I'm actually looking at a picture of the last time I did anything fun with snow. And it's 
uh, right after I got my dog, uh, a few months after we we had a big snow and we built a snowman and she was just sprinting around in the snow and just rolling around in it. And I think that's like the last good memory I have of snow. And that was two or three years ago. It's a plus name from the heavens. Like, okay, same. Get your homework real quick for my stream. Next time I'm trying to hang out. Sounds good, Stone family. I'm glad you were able to stay and talk. Have fun in your next stream and do well in your stream. Very important. Bro, being a kid and getting snow though is just so magical and I think you build some of your best moments during that time. Like, because because your school gets canceled, if you have like friends or siblings in your neighborhood, then you just get to like do snowball fights or like uh, skate on the road when there's ice on it. Man. Snowball fights, building forts, igloos in there. Uh, complaining about cleaning off your parents' driveway because they're not going to do it because they don't want to get cold. <clears throat> and fond, fond memories, though. I think the fond memories uh, also come from whenever you're like, I'm gonna go around my neighborhood and I'm going to get random people to pay me to clean their driveways and clean it kind of halfway. Cause you know, you're a kid, you don't really know what a clean driveway is. And then they give you 10 bucks and you get some pizza or something and make someone else drive out to give you that in an unsafe road, man. Kind of inconsiderate, but same time, you know, you're a kid, you don't know better. times <sighs> sorry I'm just, I'm just like really enjoying like some nostalgia look back feels good times have a family vehicle last time it snowed like this Man, that's actually kind of crazy. I don't know if we're in a similar area, but I know mine's like eight inches roughly. Um, so that like mid shin height for me. <clears throat> Which, yes, it's been a little while since I've had snow like this. Right, we're getting close to 500 encounters though. It's also not as bad if your um, family or you have a car that has like four wheel drive. I do not. I just have like a sedan and two wheel drive does not get it done in snow, man. It's oof, it, oof, yeah, it's, man, you just get stuck so easily with two wheel drive. It's surprising to me that they just don't make all cars with four wheel drive. Like, I know some don't have the power to, but most of the time you can give them the power to. Not that hard. They're like old Buicks that have four wheel drive. And they're from like the 90s. Man, 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 man. Ooh, it's getting close to time where I get to open my new, uh, another pack. Imagine peel p50 in the snow i need to look this up what a peel p50 is i don't wait for that game freak logo to appear there we go peel p50 <laughs> Bro, it's so tiny, what? Oh my gosh. It's a three-wheeled micro car? Made in 16... Sorry. 
1962. Bruh. It's, it was listed in the 2010 Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest production car ever made. Oh my gosh, bro, that's so funny. Bro, no way. A new P50 would cost about $16,000. What is that? Bro, <laughs> you, no one would pay that. Actually, sorry, let me phrase that. Most people would not pay that much money for a car that tiny that you can park in your living room. That's so funny, though. I love that. Oh, man. That's great. I love it. I keep getting spam text nowadays and it's all just like hey if you answer this and give us your social security number we will give you five hundred dollars right now it's like no no you won't I have a <laughs> sure <get> side car <laughs> I got you oh man that's good that's good um That'd be so funny. It's like, yeah, it's just sitting next to my bed. So whenever I need to go to the bathroom at night, I can, you know, just. That's so good. I love it. Bro, I don't, I don't even want to doubt it. It's, it's so, it's such a funny image. It's like, it's like those people who have rascals would get that thing instead and just drive it around all the time. I love that image so much. I'm enjoying just getting to chill right now. Nice. Sometimes getting myself to stream is a little bit uh, difficult because um, cause having the energy to be able to do it is a little bit hard, like after work sometimes, but right now it's actually pretty easy because I didn't have to go into work. And also, shiny hunting is probably one of the chillest things that you can do. That's what I'm about though. Chill life. This don't even have stairs. You drive here. You'll be 50 up the ramp when going to be. Yep. Yep. Why would you need stairs when you have your PLP 50? So funny. I love it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, I'm about to hit 30 minutes and 500 encounters, and I'm, then I'm definitely opening up the next uh, McDonald's pack. Um, I think I'm gonna base it on 500 encounters instead of the 30 minute. I think that's a more even number. Da, da, da. about read your uh, last message again. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pack ready. 
I'm keeping one of the packs, um, like just mint, like still sealed because it is a 25th anniversary pack. So it has potential to be worth something at some point if Pokemon stays the way that it has the last 25 years. At the pack, I'm ready. And I get to go full screen again with it. Oh boy. I just want to make old man noises right now. Oh, speaking of old man noises. Oh, Stone, yeah, you're back. Uh, when's your stream, though? Um, but speaking of old man noises, I've been like looking and getting a massage, and I'm on the fence about it because being. You're in the same room with someone for a long time and they're very close to you and also i've never gotten a massage so that makes me nervous but also on the fa other side the other fact is that it's covid times and i'm nervous about it so i don't know if i should or shouldn't do that <clears throat> okay with that that is 500 encounters So I'm going to let it count it and then get to a good spot again. I'm curious if Stone knows what the PLP 50 is. He said he's a little bit older, so I don't know if he's going to uh, know what that is better than I did. Definitely possible. Didn't, didn't take as long as I thought. Just saying hi to everyone. Going to chill here today. Oh, sweet. Um, did, wait, I thought, hold on, I thought you said you had your own stream. Yeah, before your stream. Haha, <laughs> great, you don't know what it is. It's a car, it's a, it's a three wheel, like, tiny car where, um, it literally won the 2010, um, Guinness World Record for the smallest manufactured car. And it's just, it's so fantastic. Our right, stream's on till later. Okay, cool. All right, so opening the next pack now. Oh, bro, no. The back of one of my cards is like stuck to the wrapper. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. So we got ourselves, oop, hold on. Got this. There we go. Got ourselves a Chimchar. Got ourselves a Bulbasaur. Got ourselves a Cyndaquil. And got ourselves a Toady Dial. I'm enjoying this because I'm not actually getting any repeat cards right now. I was a little worried about uh, getting repeat cards, but there's um, a decent number in the set. I think there's 20 in the set. Because it's, it's all the starters. All right, I don't want to autofocus. There we go. Um, it's all the starters plus Pikachu. I'm trying to send out good for. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's send a quill. I mean, you know, um, I'm not a big fan of send a quill like. Let me phrase that. I'm not that attached to that Cyndaquil card. I actually super love Cyndaquil. If I remember right, um, there we go. Um, Typhlosion was actually my first uh, level 100 Pokemon that I got back in the uh, Pokemon Silver days. And I still like hold him very treasured, but unfortunately my save got corrupted, so I don't have him anymore. Oh yeah, speaking of Sinnoh confirmed, uh, you get Froki, you have to post it to me. I mean, maybe, maybe. I'm not like uh, big overly attached to these cards. Um, they're they're cool and everything but you know they're they're fine 
Yo, Typhlosion's your first too. Let's go, let's go. Did you also get him? One second. guys um my mom like just sneezed apparently super loud and i got a little worried because it was just a loud noise i heard all of a sudden so um uh, reninja stone tell me what your guys is uh where your guys is um first level 100 was because like i just said mine was um back in silver uh stone yours is type flotion so Choices are pretty much either one of those three games, or it is um, the remakes. And Greninja Yours it has to be essentially one of the three Sinnoh games that are available right now. But I did want to. Oh, yours is also silver. Yo, we just we're twinsies out here. Let's go. Um, I actually do kind of want to talk about uh, the remakes back in platinum days you know i didn't play platinum until earlier last year i hadn't played any of the fourth gen games um the main fourth one so pearl diamond and platinum i hadn't played any of them until last year favorite pokemon mine's glalie what an interesting pick glalie so i actually have to uh hey i mean Greninja is a solid pick. Um, so I actually have a list of my favorite Pokemon because I forget or I have like um, a starter bias. But I actually do have quite a few. <clears throat> um, so we've got Poliwhirl, which is my channel mascot. I love Slowpoke. Crobat, Heracross, Geodude, and Porygon Z. And then I also really enjoy Sceptile, because I just he's a cool starter and I love him. <clears throat> um, but mm, fourth gen remake, so. So we have a direct coming out tomorrow. Do you guys think they're going to announce something big in that direct? I think it's tomorrow. Pretty sure. I might be off on timing. One second. I think I'm going to be faster than you guys. Seventeen. Yep, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, I know, right? Sceptile's super awesome. I mean, Sceptile taking down that Darkrai, you know, Sinnoh League victors. I think they'll announce a Zelda game for the anniversary. Yo, I'd be down for a new Zelda game. Um, well, I mean, isn't Breath of the Wild 2 on the horizon for the next uh, Zelda game? Do you think they're going to do a, like, anniversary pack like how they did with the Marios? <clears throat> um, but, okay, so, fourth gen remakes are, like, on the horizon though and we're still pretty sure they're coming out i should use fire starters engines one through five and grass six through eight okay so charizard typhlosion blaziken infernape embor really embor we have choice there i think superior might be the better way to go there and then you get chestnut really is <clears throat> grass and Okay, Rowl that I'm good with, yeah, you get to sit you eye. Sit you eye is cool. And then you went 
Rillaboom. Okay. I mean, Rillaboom's not bad. I think, I think final design wise, I think he got the best design. Yeah, I am hoping for fourth gen announcements. Um, but so what, what's going to happen though with gen four, you know, like, um, it breaks one of those two, oh, I, can, oh, man. I, 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 I picked M too. too. He was my starter, but then I actually got to use like a superior and a Samurai and I liked them both so much more to actually use because Embor is just like a big old fat pig with big arms. He's kind of like truckers a lot of times how they depict them in movies where they're just kind of like fat but they're really strong. Like that. Their choices is random water. Okay, so one through two is grass. Then you got your Venusaur and your, really, you use Meganium. Three all, there. Three all had pretty good starters overall. Swampert really got help with Mega Evolution though. Um, Fire and water and four. Rotera is there, he's, he's good. He just has a times four weakness. Use Samurai on five. I can't get behind six all. I, I, I can't, man. Del Fox is like a huge just misstep. I think they had a really good thing going and they just did not nail it with Del Fox. Seven all. Um, if they would change Primarina's gender rate, then I would give you seven all. That bothers me so much. Oh, one, two is water and three is grass. Okay, I, I see how you design this now. Okay, so one, two, so you get Blastoise and for alligator, which I love both of them. Um, three is grass, so you get Sceptile. Four is all fire and water, so you use Embort and Samurott, interesting. Or Ninja for six. All seven, like I said, seven still same way. They need to change gender rate for Primarina. Like I just, I'm not about it. And eight all, yeah. I feel like eight just had lackluster starters to be honest. As a whole, I think Rillaboom's probably the best in my opinion. I think Cinderace and Inteleon were just missteps. I don't. Th I think people had cooler. Um, potential art and designs for those mods than what actually came out of it. Like people were anticipating Italian being like a ghost type because he could go invisible all the time, which would have been really cool. And you kind of play into that mode, but instead they went with like a flying, uh, I'm trying to remember what those things are called. Ah, they have the, the weird eye, uh, chameleon. Yeah. You with a flying chameleon design. G-Max Italian is interesting. I thought initially when they showed that off that it was um, a big just spout of water he was laying on. But then I realized later on it's even weirder where they made it his tail. Why do you need a 60 feet long tail? What is that? Oh, also, G-Max Cinderace is terrible. Who cares he's on a giant flaming ball? Who cares? At least Rillabooms is cool and he gets like a whole drum set. Janemon needed dual typings. I think it would help them a lot. Like, they just went and said nope to the child rating because it had a gun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they literally have a move called Snipe Shot. They weren't exactly like trying to hide it. <clears throat> Jenna had a lot of weak points, but I think if their starters were solid, then they would have had like really good games. Or I guess that would have helped their case a lot. Cinderace, I just feel like, was like a big misstep from Raboot. I think Raboot had potential. 
like I didn't crazy like it, but I think it had potential to move on to something really cool. And it just didn't. I don't, they made it like a, like luchador kind of look, kind of like Incineroar, but just, they just didn't nail it, man. Might as well have Gen 9 include swear words. I mean, most people would be down for that. But what people are more down for is a difficulty setting and randomization option after you finish the game. Like, in reality, the Pokemon company has things they could do so easily and give their game so much replay value and they just don't do it. It's like they ask fans, hey, what do you want? And then just do the exact opposite. We want a more complex story with actual characters and growth. Well, here is a hop, or sorry, here's a how replicant and he gets sad a lot when he loses. Enjoy. That's like the whole depth of that character in that game. Also, I just did another big corporation is the bad guy. I mean, honestly, for Cinderace, I think they would have actually uh, be better with fighting type. And that's saying something. It is saying something. With the design they gave, the only other thing I can think of that would make sense. Well, I mean, actually, I can think of two. You could either make him a normal type, which that's not helping him in any way. <sighs> but you can give him like Mega Kick or something. Or. You make him a ground type and just play into the bunny aspect. That's about the only way I can think of him working. Because I, I just don't want to give him a fighting type. And I think the Pokemon company is trying so hard to avoid that. Especially whenever they made Incineroar. And they clearly made him after a Luchador. And they just made him a dark type because they didn't want the flack for making another firefighting. Because he even learns fighting type moves, too. I think Gorilla Boom's honestly the hardest one for me to decide right now, like, what typing he should be. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a little bit of an out there thing, but I, I, I'm just playing into, like, the bunny part of him, like, which makes sense. That a bunny would dig. I'm trying to remember what else did that. Uh, like, Infernape can learn dig. I don't think he learns it naturally, but he can learn it. And he's a monkey, which doesn't make a ton of sense. Because monkeys aren't exactly digging holes in the ground. Inteleon, I think, really just like, if they would have played in like a ghost typing, then they could have done really well with it. Because a, another like ghost starter would be really interesting. I'm trying to think of typings they haven't used in starters though. Are they, they use steel, okay. Use fairy. Honestly, I think Embor was pointless with fighting, and I think it would have been better on Samurai than Dark or something on Embor. Interesting. I do kind of agree with you about Samurai. Like, I feel like even if you made him like Steel, just like Empoleon, then it would have made a lot of sense. But I think they were trying really hard to avoid two duplicate typings. 
um, across generations because they just have Embor and Infernape, so I don't think they want Napoleon and Samurott too. They same with Superior, kind of. Like, they could have played more into a ground aspect with it. Hmm. I just want to like lame. Ooh, I don't know, that's a hot take. I kind of enjoy that line. I think, I think Samurai could have had a more interesting design than what it is, but I think Oshawa and Dewat are pretty solid. And I think if they gave another form to Samurai, then I bet they'd like nail it and it'd be really cool. <clears throat> I'm really trying to think of a typing they haven't used in starters yet. Yeah, poison, flying. Um, fighting, ground. I think rock is one. Can't throw dis samurai. My samurai logic. Hey, I mean, I'm just saying that I think they could have done a little better with his design. Because, like, they took away his bipedalness and just put him on all fours. And I feel like that kind of defeated the purpose of his first two stages. That seemed like they were like a little bit faster. Um, you got steel. Then going into fifth gen. They added nothing. Sixth added psychic. And dark. I mean, you don't have to be a fan. You can have your own opinions. Fire types. No, let me let's see. If you look at fire types. We have got a lizard. Um, it. I'm pretty sure type lotion ends up being like a weasel. Um. Then you've got a chicken and a monkey and a pig and a fox and a cat and a bunny. Oh yeah, that's right. They follow the Chinese New Year, fire types do. Still thinking about like the different typings that put in, okay. Put in seven, put in ghost and fairy and a bridge for eight added nothing because they're yep okay so they've only used nine secondary typings and i have to take out i technically have to take out fire water and grass which leaves at 12. i believe there are like 18 typings so there's still six they haven't used one of them is being rock um, what are the others? Uh, good question. Let's see what the Chinese New Year's next year is. Oop. Let's see. So they just did. Okay, so they don't follow it perfectly. So you have dragon on here. You've got monkey, rooster, pig, rabbit. Uh, who are they missing? They're missing explosion because I don't think he lines up with any of these. Um. A monkey, uh, a pig, fox is missing from here. I thought it was on here. Um, unless you count that with dog, I might, I might count it with dog. I don't want to, but I might. 
Um, I'm trying to think of what the next one is. Seven was a cat. Okay, cat is not on here. And eight was on here. Okay. So there's two to three on here if you don't count Finnegan as a dog. So the ones that are still left on here are snake, horse, goat, uh, potentially dog, uh, rat, ox, tiger. Guess who's back for more? What's up, Shaquille? How you doing, bud? So there's still like a lot of possibility for what they could do um, if they want to stay in the Chinese New Year. They still have a lot of picks. I think the most out there one was probably like the weasel pick. Oh, sorry. Shaquille, how are you doing, bud? I forgot to ask. Good my guy, I'm only here to say hi because I'm doing something. All right, I understand, I understand. A bit buffering there. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm gonna look up the um, typing chart because I'm missing like four typings for what they haven't used yet. Because my brain won't think of them right now. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, they haven't used dragon. They haven't used bug. They haven't used ice, surprisingly. They haven't used electric. And they haven't used normal. Honestly, I think a lot of people are really rooting for um, Fire Electric. You get a quad weakness to uh, ground, but that is a really solid offensive typing. You still get really bodied, though, by a ground. Well, ground type actually is like a really good counter. Like a rock and ground type just bodies that on. I think water ice is a little like too easy for them. Like maybe they're trying to avoid it. <sighs> they did their first grass and dragon in the most recent games, which I honestly really love Flapple. Uh, bug. You can make an interesting thing with like any of the typings in bug, honestly. Because we just got sent a scorch. There are a few grass bug types, I'm pretty sure. I know Lee Vanny's one, and that's a pretty cool mon in my opinion. And water bug, you don't have two. Oh no, you've got go gl mm. Glissopod. Um Normal, I feel like, you know, you're you're basically like underplaying everything with that mod. Like it's just a very blank and boring mod. And rock, I think you would do with any of them too. I think they've all had really interesting combinations with rock in other Pokemon. I think it's really just a matter of what uh, the Pokemon company ends up doing. I do think they need to um, try to use those last few typings because they're all really interesting ideas. They just have to take the chance and go for them. Like a water rock versus a fire electric would be really interesting because they counter each other like pretty well until they get their secondary typings. It really evens them out. 
Let's see, what would you give Grass then in that case? Um, hmm. You can give them Dragon. Dragon resists a lot. Kind of balance out that Grass type, honestly, against the others. Oh, bro, they could have made Superior Grass Dragon. That actually would have been really cool. Just give him some wings. Man. If they ever go back to Mega Evolution, I will be so happy. Because it's just... It had something so good there. And all they had to do was balance it, and they are just like, nah. Nah. They just didn't want to put in the work, so they made a whole new thing that everyone hated. And then they made another new thing that merged the two, and it's still kind of busted. So they've got Rat, Ox, Sink, Horse, Goat, and potentially Dog, and Dragon. If you don't count Charizard, which I would probably count Charizard. And I think Fennekin's on the fence of a dog, so they might not go for that too, because it's close enough. But um, I'd honestly be down for any of those options i think like rat ox snake um horse and goat are all like really interesting ideas i would put money into probably goat and ox honestly because i think you're gonna get the most unique design out of that because most of the rest of them have already been done a lot except for like a rat I don't feel like they have too many goat mon, but they have a lot of goat mon. Got a lot of rat mon too, though, man. And again, the starters always stand out, even among the others. Like Blaziken super stands out among the other like chickens that exist. kind of I'm still thinking about what Rillaboom would have as a typing I think horse could be really interesting to have and I'd love to see it but I don't know if I'm actually we're actually gonna get it to be honest um What could Rillaboom's secondary typing have been if you keep him the way that he is? I would hate to give him normal typing. I think normal is not what he is. I feel like his typing is one of those that was left on the drawing room floor. where they experimented a little while with a um, sound typing and they decided against it because not many Pokemon would actually fit in that category, which is true. Um, hmm. He's not a poison thing. I'm gonna look at the type chart, see if I, there's something. Not really psychic. I I legitimately think like rock or ground is probably the closest things for him. Cause I really don't want to give him fighting either. I feel like rock or ground would be the best fit for him. And I don't think they're great fits. Although, then again, his special move, like, Grassy Slide, goes right through the ground, doesn't it? I think you'd play that up like that.
Um, does anyone know what Pog Champs 3 is? Oh, it's a chess thing. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm probably about to open the next pack here soon. I'm gonna wait for 550 encounters, so still got like 10 more. And I'm just gonna uh, big chillax. Just think about like what this fire starter would be if it got these typings, you know? I think a rat would work pretty well with like a dark typing. I think people's um, imagination puts them in sewers a lot. Probably give that the normal typing. You could also give a rock. Snake. You know how they decided to design it. They could give that the dragon. Ooh, I'd love to see a goat that's fire electric. That'd be very fun. Mm, what a horse. Probably give it the da -da -da -ba 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 -bum. probably ground. Ground feels good. Fire ground isn't like necessarily the best typing, but I think man, you get a lot of quad weaknesses on fire with these typings. Fire's not a very good defensive typing, is it? And if like there's too many things, it helps um, resist something else. Other than if you gave it to like water. And even then, that only takes away one of it. One of its um resistances. I think water actually helps out fire more. No? No it doesn't. It also only takes one. I think about Volcanion and how it does things. The Volcanion gets hit hard by electric, uh, rock, and ground. I guess I don't really think about a lot of these typings too much. Oh well. <sighs> Sleepy boys. Only 4 p.m. for me too. I might go for honestly a little while here, um, see if I can get lucky, you know, before I hit like a thousand mark or something. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm enjoying the nice chill music going on. I don't have too many plans the rest of the day. Pretty sure I'm just gonna stream for a while doing this, and then I guess I will. Yeah. Work on something, I guess. I could just relax, but I've been relaxing all day. Friend just sent me a horse scope thing, and apparently my lucky color. My lucky colors are for night. Your lucky numbers. Okay, did it did it mix up the text? 
Oh, that's okay. So your lucky colors are four and nine. Great. And your lucky numbers are blue and gold. No, I'm pretty sure that's right. I, I love the color four. And the number white, great, pristine, favorite number. Couldn't ask for anything better. enjoying relaxing right now it was good <laughs> all these uh, card packs come with like little path things that you can like draw on and try to follow and find which Pikachu design is the right one. I think it's really fun for kids. I would have had fun with them a lot. But they didn't have the um, Pokemon things too often at McDonald's. At least when I was young. I don't really get what they're going with this beach aesthetic. Like, I don't get what they're going for. Are they hinting out Alola remakes? I do, however, really enjoy the stickers. The annoying, oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say the annoying thing is, is that um, Pikachu is the only one who got two stickers, but I was wrong. Looks like everyone gets two stickers. At least the ones who are on this current one. Which is 10. So they put out 20 stickers, but only 10 months, so you get half of them. Get the stickers. Alright. <clears throat> what am I going to have for dinner tonight? I could have a pizza. I want chilling in the freezer. I got some meat ready. I could, like, make some spaghetti and just put some meat in it. Also sounds good. Make some macaroni, some meat in it. I kind of want to use the meat. I don't want the meat to go bad. And I don't just want to like eat the meat. My hair's kind of crispy. I put some stuff in it. Because I'm trying to train it to lay a very certain way and especially with like the calyx I have on the back of my head my hair tends to stand up I have two more one more encounter and then I get to open uh, my final pack I don't know if Donald's but don't know if mine do Pokemon cards because I'm not in America I'm pretty sure it's an international release um, if you have access to like uh, uber in your area then Uber Eats, uh, I'm pretty sure, will tell you if the Happy Meals um, come with toys. And I think it tells you what toys they go with. Or you could call your local McDonald's and find out. I actually went inside mine and uh, I felt very on edge about it because I didn't know if I was allowed to. Because it doesn't feel like something I'm allowed to do right now. Even though there's some restaurants that do allow like sit down eating, I still feel very anxious about it. <sighs> Which I hope by this time next year, people are wearing masks. Um, 
only when they start to feel sick and are sick so they don't spread germs anymore and i kind of hope this whole thing it just calms down to that point because i don't want masks com to completely disappear i want them to just become the new like if you were sick you wear this i think it's only fair Apparently I should have stopped at one encounter earlier. Alright, switching to full cam. Alright, last pack, let's open it up. Could have code cards but they do not exist in the mcdonald's packs Oop, didn't focus on the right thing come on there it goes all right that looks like that not sick no mouse yeah i do agree all right so we got a little holographic tepig looks good Ooh, look at that Look at that bad boy Shriek, it looks good. Ooh, Sobble. Love Sobble. He's adorable. And a Chimchar. Okay. That was my last pack. Um, and I'm pretty sure Chimchar might have been my only um, duplicate card. So it looks like they actually have like a really nice spread of different cards. Uh, even whenever you get them like one after another. Which I actually really love. Hey, thanks, Nightbot. Yeah, guys, don't forget to like the video. I work hard on these. <sighs> there it goes. And... Boop. Back into shiny hunting. <sighs> Sinnoh confirmed. Yes, Sinnoh confirmed. Agreed. I am pretty sure that I already got a Chimchar. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So check it. I got a hollow Chimchar. But apparently, I also got regular Chimchar. I got both Chimchars. I'm actually super okay with that. Because Chimchar is, like, up there on my starter list. I think... Almost all the fortune um, starters are up. I think that Empoleon is the lowest because its design just didn't like scream to me like as cool. Also, the anime didn't show off um, Empoleon very well. That's lame. Hopefully that worked. And the song Psychic Gem of Callus Town. Huh. Is it really? I have no clue. There's not really a way for me to tell. No, uh, actually there is. Um at the time that you said that you were right, it was the Anastar City. I think, I mean, honestly, X and Y is, it, it's another game that's like, it, it's up there for me. Like, I enjoyed playing X and Y so much, man. I'm so bummed that they did not give it a sequel, honestly. Because it, it would have helped it so much. Like, it would have been the platinum of that generation. Where everyone just plays that one. Most iconic for me. Thanks. I mean, that makes sense with your name, with the Intrepid Greninja. Um, what you just Pokemon Z would have been, like, the definitive version of the game. I'm not even 100% how to say that. I think this is Dendonil. 
Den DeMille. Um... I know this. Pretty sure there are times off for some of these, though. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and Pokemon Z just. I just think about it all the time, where it's like, man, if they just would have came out that game, people would be playing Pokemon Z, people would be still, I think people would still be talking about how good Pokemon Z was, when it's like Professor Slab or some game, you're, you're very close, and yes, it is Gold Silver. It's actually the starting town. Um... If they had made Z though, and with how Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield were received, people would still be talking about Pokemon Z as just a great game. But since they haven't really nailed it with the last few, in a lot of people's opinion, people still talk about Platinum. Because honestly, not a lot of people played Black and White 2. I honestly couldn't even tell you what the plot of that game is. They actually were gonna be two third version of X and Y. Do what? Um, you know what they would have called them? I feel like Z is right there, but and I hope it's not like X squared Y squared. That's not good. Not good names. Z is like just easy. Zygarde's right there. He's got a Z for his name. You make him the main story. He even had different forms that you could have seen around the game. And you could have like a really cool climactic scene where he got 100% form and like stopped the like ultimate weapon. There could have been like really like cool things they did and they just didn't. Just made things a side story and um, Sun and Moon. <sighs> missteps, missteps all the way. Navy X and purple Y or? Okay, you you know okay. I was gonna say that mm, that does not sound right. That does not sound like games that I would buy. Oh, nice! We just got a new subscriber. Um, Fun with Foster subscribed. Uh, my alerts aren't working properly, so allow me to give you the treatment. There you go. That's funny. So, Serebi, a Pokemon website, just tweeted out, um, a picture of the new Unite game coming out. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can get it. There we go. Where Garchomp is on the um, front of it, so people are like, Oh, oh, Sinnoh Remake's coming out. Oh no. So funny. I just love it. This is my most random guest. Uh, found you on PokePros Discord? Oh, sweet. I love those guys. They're doing such good work over there. Yeah, England? I don't... It... I must have missed something I said. I don't know what I can't England means. Foster, or sorry. It's Forster. 
Um, I do appreciate you coming over here, though, from that from the Discord, because, you know, they are amazing. They do really great work together. And also, the amount of giveaways they do is wild. I mean, literally anything Sinnoh, people are like, hey, Sinnoh confirmed. Oh, okay, I gotcha. We're talking about the, you're talking about the uh, Unite Garchomp thing, yeah. It's just, it's becoming a meme at this point, and whenever they finally do announce it, like, it's just gonna blow up. Yo, what's up? Uh, Apple Pie. Man, people love Apple Pie, man. That's a good name. People love their Apple Pie. Do you like Apple Pie? Which guy's his favorite kind of pie? I'm curious. Also, Apple Pie, how are you doing? And I appreciate you if you sub to the channel, and I just can't see it. May I ask for a pack? I mean, uh, I'm not sending packs. I was just uh, opening something that I bought. Which, I have already opened them all. I mean, I can show off um, what came out of them, but I am not sending people packs. I mean, like, uh, I can't spell, but it's a joke. Most people know saying that I can't England for I can't spell. Interesting. My favorite pie is pie. Nice. Cinnamon pie? I don't think I've ever had cinnamon pie, and I appreciate your subscription. Uh, I will play you the thing, too. Oh, oh, so I've already opened all my packs that um, I was doing. But, like I said, I can show off what I, what I caught out of them. I don't even know if I'm going to get any more, um, because, first of all, there's been a lot of like controversial controversy over these packs. Um, just because people feel like, um, like me as an adult, um, should not buy them because they're meant for children. Like, they're in Happy Meals because they're meant for children. Repack them and then open. Nope. That, that's worth all too much work and really dishonest. Like, oh, whoop. Oh, well. Not too much I can mess with with the lag. It's just internet. But I'll still show it off. Alright. So we got ourselves a nice Fennekin. Here. I'll be closer so you can... So we got ourselves a nice Fennekin. Charmander. A Chespin. A Mudkip. A Chimchar. A Bulbasaur, Cyndaquil, a Totodile, a Tepig, a Trico, a Sobble, and another Chimchar. And that's what I pulled out of the backs. Boop. There we go. There's some Pokemon packs in Happy Meals in our country. Oh, I thought it was international. Interesting. Um, if you don't mind asking, uh, what country uh, do you live in? Because I thought they were... It was like an international um, release. Like, just if you had a McDonald's, then you got um, the packs in Happy Meals. Really? Czech Republic doesn't have it? I'm surprised. Hmm. 
I really think they should do seven in McDonald's packs, like in normal packs. I mean, maybe, but the thing is that these sets are a lot smaller. Since there's only, like, um, technically 20 cards with regular and, um, regular and hollow variants. I actually think I still have a cutie fly from last time McDonald's did Pokemon cards. Man, was that whenever they were, like, releasing Sun and Moon? So apparently, um, not apparently, like I me, mean, it's not surprising at all. There are so many people who are selling these Pokemon cards for way too much. Like, here's a person who is selling, let's see, one, two, three, six, twelve, twelve cases of the, um, Packs of cards, so 12 cases of them, for $900. And though each, like, pack only costs about, like, 80 cents, there's no way it's worth that much. I think it might have been a year ago, but let's... Oh, okay, it's in Let's Go. By the way, I found out that there's a box called Let's Play Eevee and Pikachu that you buy for, like, $20 and it's worth, like, 40 Um, interesting. I mean, it sounds like you're getting a deal if it's worth more than what you're paying for it. I'm trying to figure out if I maybe misread that, but no, I'm pretty sure that it sounds like you're getting the deal out of that. Okay, so there's 150 packs in each case. So, let's see. What math actually says is each case is worth about $120. And honestly, it, it should literally be half of that. And if anyone buys that, then they're dumb. Because I honestly don't think these packs are going to be worth a lot. I think they're just fun collectors for a 25th anniversary. Like, I think, I think people are buying too much into the Pokemon hype. Like, for the most part, things are just meant to be fun and for you to collect them and do stuff with your friends. That's like that blister with a Pikachu. Pikachu promo is $5 and the blister is $5. Dang. It, um... Is that blister still out? Because it sounds like you're getting a good return on your, like, your money there. Which actually reminds me, I have some cards that I actually want to send away and get graded. Um, because... Like, I have some um, base set cards that could actually get graded decently. Spelling it wrong. trying to figure out how much it would actually cost me to um send out some cards
I'm just kind of looking to see um, what general cost would be if I want to send like a number of cards out. Let's play. There's two decks, two Charizard, two Hollow Moltres, two Hollow Raikou, and five Pikachu's. Three of them Hollow, five EVs, three of them Hollow. Jeez, you get a lot of that. That's like a pretty crazy 10. 10, I guess? No, it could be a box. Yeah, I guess you got Elite Trainer boxes. And you got Booster boxes. I really want to get a booster box, but I just, I can't, I can't warrant the money spent on it. I also like really want to do um, Hidden Fates, but once again, I can't warrant the money spent on it. Because like, geez, like, even if I wanted like a Vivid Voltage um, booster box, I think they're going for like, uh, 150 right now. Um, on the booster box, on booster packs. Let's see. Oh, it's a deck box. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So if I wanted a Vivid Voltage booster box right now, the lowest cost I could buy it for is $204. And I also know that Hidden Fates is in a very similar set and it is 177 for a Elite Trainer box. So like not even um not even a booster box oh actually you can get a vivid voltage uh set of a booster box and an elite trainer box for 280. jeez man I get it, like it, it's supply and demand, but I still hate it. I think the most reasonable thing to buy right now is, I mean, you can get a uh, Shining Fates, like it's Illy Trainer Box is so even more reasonable. And I guess you can still get Champion's Path. I think I'd, like if you're gonna get champions pass like you might as well get a um, booster box because the elite trainer boxes are not worth it man man I thought I was gonna find like more reasonable but I was wrong Wild, just wild. I had a big voltage ETB. That's my first box. My first um, was a Champion's Path, and it was very fun to open. I really want to open my first uh, booster box, but with the way like prices are right now, it's it's so hard. Because I don't want to drop that kind of money on the potential of not getting anything like good. Uh, 
Like if they were back what they used to be. You got a regular peak of you? Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. I'm pretty sure the... Ooh, and Fuller Alistair. I think the best thing I got was a secret rare. But I think I got that in Champion's Path. I'm pretty sure in Vivid Voltage, I got like Bup Kiss. I think I got a few, um, I think I got like one full art and I think it was a Colossal, if I remember right, or am I not? Oh man, you can't even find a, uh, oh wait, no, Hidden, sorry, I first Hidden Fates, I need Shining Fates. I'm curious if you can get a Shining Fates booster box right now. Not really, no. You could get an Evolutions booster box for probably like $600. Oh, my bad. More like a few thousand dollars. Man. It's wild how much cards are at this point. I think that's a big reason why uh, I want to get mine checked out. Because it's basically like fueling um, the hobby. Yeah, no full art, but I mean, you know, I think I got one in two boxes. I might've only done one. Yeah, I think I only did do one, yeah. Let's see, how much are they charging for an Evolutions e uh, ETB? $300. That's actually not that bad. With how coveted Evolutions is, I thought it'd be more. So, I think I'm probably going to cut off stream at about two hours, so about 15 more minutes. Um,. So I might get it. I might get the shiny, might not. The so Dragon's Majesty is very expensive. I don't even know what that set is. Um, let me see if they've got it on Amazon. They've got boxes of it but you can't even buy like an etb for it um because it's not really on market anymore This is a hard set to find. I don't even know if I can find it. Yeah, I found it, but man, there are people charging for like a hundred dollars for four packs of this thing. How hard is it? Oh, there it is. I found it. Here's an elite trainer box. Uh, it is $350. I'm just thinking where I could sell the Alistair Pikachu and a few others to get a Shining Fates. Yeah, I mean, I'm a similar mindset, but I have to, I want to get mine graded first so I can get a proper cost. Because there are some bigger things I'd like to be able to do, but I, um, but I don't really want to, um, 
potentially waste the funds. I'd rather like recycle the funds. Oh, that's per card. That's a lot. Imagine sending a highly Imagine sending a highly pay played fake card worth a few cents to grading. Oof. Would not do that. I'm basically sending vintage cards out um, and seeing if any of them are um, good enough to sell, basically. Because it's not a guarantee or anything that they will be. Because grading is kind of crazy like that. Let's see, times nine. Oof, man. Even if I, like, sent out a low number of cards, I would still be spending, like, um, like a calx to tcg player as near mint i never played with those huh i don't know that seems tough Looks like I'm going to break 600 encounters. I feel like this way of shiny hunting is just so slow, man. Like, come on. I see um, other people who shiny hunt like regular mons, and they're like getting into the thousands with like a single stream. And I'm like, man, it must be nice. I'm out here just, you know, resetting my game every 10 seconds. if that difference matters at all. Trying to decide what um, person you want to send your cards through for a grading is also like really difficult. At least for me it is. Because I know just so little Yeah, I'm still spending like quite a bit to get those cards out. Uh, I have an OG fake card with a 100th HP because two more zeros at the end and it's a triple legendary beast card. No kidding, man. Jeez. That does sound like a beast card, though. I don't really have any fake cards. It's only 50k. Oh no, only 50k. <laughs> You're still like winning every single match. Like I'm sure um, if you got that card and you were young enough, uh, it's attack is 1000, I forgot. Well, 
if you were young enough, then you could totally convince your friends, like, no, nah, man, this is, this, I just got really lucky and got this poll card, um, but how about we play for cards? I'll, I'll put this up for, um, for, for betting, and, uh, you put up your, your, uh, your really rare one. Like, you could really, uh, hustle some kids like that. Not cool, but you could. Is very stuck together, I'm trying to separate it. <sighs> Original card is five hundred HP and thousand damage with three energy but it's from a set that can't be played oh are there actually are there sets that can't be played i don't know i don't really know about like um the game of tcg too much where like i don't know if there's been like banned cards i know of like some Yu-Gi-Oh banned cards because I was into that um, for a while. But nowadays I just have um, more of like a structure deck sitting around in case my uh, brother ever wants to like uh, do a duel to test out a deck. But I I got lost um, away from Yu-Gi-Oh as soon as they introduced like the um, Link summons. I could find it on Poke, Lecter, and Zen Link. I mean, I'm not overly familiar with the um, the website. I'm assuming that is. Ooh. But hey, man, if you wanna if you wanna do that, um, best way to send me a link would be uh, through Twitter or discord because i'm pretty sure you can't post links in the chat pretty sure <sighs> we're getting yanni out here yanni baby won't you come down the chimney tonight? Bloop, 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 bloop. to hit 600 encounters. That's pretty cool. Five more uh, minutes to do some stream. So if it was with your uh, here purchase, I can't see or mm, message, I can't see it. Interesting.
Uh, no buffering. What are you doing, buddy? I think my internet is going in and out with the amount of snow and weather that's outside. My best guess, at least. Yes, Daisy. Yes, Daisy. Can I help you? Yeah, good day too, Apple Pie. Hold on. Yeah. It's all good. We're getting close here. Thank you, Apple Pie. Hope to see you in another stream soon. Seconds. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it hit the two-hour mark. Taste no. Pop down. Fine. Thank you. Just enjoy the nice music. Just sit back and relax. So, oh, even the music's cooling down. It knows. It knows we're out of here. Actually, I'm gonna let it do this last encounter here. Six oh five is a solid enough number to leave it at. But. Uh, I just want to say that anyone who is still here, or who has been here at all throughout the whole stream, um, I'm very thankful of it. Uh, this was a little bit, um, trying out like a different idea, I guess, of types, um, while bringing, bringing in the card opening at the same time as something else. So I just wanted to try it out, see how it went. And I think it went pretty well as a whole. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's just going to be in the stream. Um, hope anyone who is still here has a good day. And I will see anyone who has subscribed and has their notification bell on in the next stream. So until then, bye.